In this tutorial, we're going to give you an overview of the clip art that is included with your vCarve and vCarve desktop software. We're going to show you various ways to install them, where they are located on your PC, and a guide to how to import and load them into your software. vCarve includes over $2,000 worth of 2D and 3D clip art for you to use in your projects. This clip art comes in a format that allows you to use your content with Aspire if at some point you choose to upgrade. There are three ways to get your free clip art installed and available in your software. Install it from the installation media you may have received, download and install it from your VNCO account, or you can do it from within the software itself. If you have a product installation USB drive, you can simply install your clip art from it. All of your content will be available in your clip art browser the next time you open up your software. If you don't have an installation USB drive, that's not a problem at all. When you purchased your product, you would have been invited to VNCO. This is where you can access your license details, the installers for your software, along with your free clip art and project files. You'll need to go over to portal.vectric.com, type in your email address and your password. Once you sign in and verify your email address, then you have access to everything that VNCO has to offer. To start with, you'll see any special offers that might be available for you for upgrades. You'll be able to take a browse through our free projects, content from Design and Make, and also see what we're up to in the near future. And then you'll be able to view your downloads. On your downloads page, you'll see a listing of all the software that you own. Also, there'll be an indication of whether or not an update is available. If you need your license code or want to install any of the extra packs of clip art or content that you are entitled to with your software purchase, just click the View License and Download button. On your software's download page, you'll find your registered username, your license code, the main installer for your software, and any extra packs that you're eligible for. In this case, all of our clip art is listed here. If you choose to download and install the Weaves clip art pack, just click the download button and save the installer someplace where you can find it. When you're ready to install the clip art pack, go find the installer and double click on it. You'll be then presented with our installation wizard. Just click the next button on the first screen. Make sure you read through our license agreement and agree to it. And then the installer will put the clip art where your software can find it the next time you open up your software. If you choose not to download and install your clip art from either your USB drive or online through your VNCO account, then you can always do it through your software. In your clip art tab, at the top, you'll see all of your groups of clip art. And at the bottom, you'll see any of the clip art that is in those groups. So here, if we go ahead and click the 3D tabs section, you'll see the 3D tabs here. These are the three that are installed. If you go to decorative, this is what I have installed that is in the decorative category. If we go back to our tabs for a moment, and you'll see that right here above the actual icons of the tabs is a little cloud icon and a refresh icon. If I click on the cloud icon, you'll be presented with, or I'll be presented with, any of the clip art that I'm eligible to download from my account. Now, as long as I have an internet connection and I have my information to log into my portal account, I can go ahead and download those from my clip art browser. There are a couple of different ways I can do that. One is I can right click on one of the pieces of clip art I like to download and choose download. At that point, it'll check to see if I'm logged into my portal account, and if not, I'll have to go ahead and do that. If you're not logged in, click the Login and Refresh button, and then you will be required to log into your portal account. Just type in your email address and password. When you're logged in, you'll be asked to allow your software to talk with the portal. Just click Allow. And once this is, this is complete, you'll be ready to go. Close down your browser window, and then you'll be logged in. Close that down, and you'll see that your clip art will be downloaded right away. Alternatively, what you can do is just drag your piece of clip art you'd like to download straight into your project, and it will download right away for you to use. If you'd like to download a whole pack of clip art from within the software, just go over to your clip art browser right click on the clip art pack that you'd like to download and then choose download from the menu. All of these in software methods will work as long as you're connected to the internet.
it doesn't matter which of the previous methods you use to install your clip art, it will always be installed and located on your hard drive in your C drive, users, public, public documents, vector files, and clip art. And you can easily navigate there using your Windows Explorer. Now inside of here, you'll find all of the different packs that you've installed. So for instance, if you downloaded the decorative pack, you can find it here. Or maybe you've chosen to go ahead and download the animals pack. It'll also be located here. Let's take a second and talk about how we can get our clip art into our actual job. The first way we can do that is to go ahead and use your Windows Explorer. Open this up, navigate to your clip art folder, and simply choose the piece of clip art you'd like, and then you can drag it into your job. We can just go ahead and move that now to the center of our job. So that's one way of doing it. Let's delete that. The second way would be to go to your modeling tab and click on import component or a 3D model and navigate over to your clip art folder. And then again, choose the piece, piece of clip art you'd like to import in. And there you have it. The third method, which is the one that we use most often, is to go to your clip art tab. And in here, you'll find all of your installed packs of content. Again, we can take a look at our animal folder and we can just choose the one we'd like to have, double click on it, or we can drag it in. Those two methods will get our model into our job. Now something that's a little more temporary, if you just need to get access to maybe a file in your downloads folder, you can choose your local files and you can navigate through your hard drive to where you need to be. In this case, I went back to my clip art folder and went to my animals folder and you can see all of my animals are here and I can just double click or drag the piece of clip art I like to have into my job space. Some of the 3D content that you receive with your software comes in three different styles. For instance, this fish has three different styles that come with it. And the best way to demonstrate what those look like is to actually bring them into a job. So let's just go ahead and tile our job and we can bring in the first style which you see is actually raised off the surface of our modeling plane. We'll just size them down. We have our second style, which is the same fish, but he's inside of a smooth dish. And then we have the third style, which is inside a sculpted edged or a hand carved look. If we go ahead and click on our modeling tab and add in a modeling plane, we'll see that in our 3D view, We'll also go ahead and hide our modeling plane that we have the A version, which is raised above our modeling plane, the B version, which is in the smooth dish and the C version, which is inside the sculpted edge. Now we can just go ahead and delete all of those. And we'll take a look at our weaves. Let's just go ahead and redraw our modeling plane and look straight down at that. Now our weaves come with three different versions as well. There's the weave that has, a, that has a dash I at the end, or a dash II, or a dash III. And the best way to illustrate that is to bring these in again individually. So this is the I version. Put that up out of the way. And here's the II version. We'll slide that over there. Then here is the III version. And you can quickly see what the three differences are. The first one has a round, smooth dome to it. The second one has a flat with a beveled edge. And the third one has more of a ribbon feel to it. Once you've chosen and installed or downloaded and installed the clip art that you would like, I highly recommend that you take a look through those and explore all the different options that you have. These certainly will help you to learn the software quicker and easier, but also should add to your projects in the end.